for me, these are incredibly fascinating. And most of the time they're feared, but they're incredibly vital at the same time. They do something that we all know as pollination, and that actually accounts for about 30% or a third of all uh, the entire world's food supply. That in itself shows just how incredibly important that is to our entire ecosystem. And what we've seen over the years is something called colony collapse disorder. It's this phenomenon of bee populations depleting around the world unexpectedly and very fast. So for me, that's kind of like the driving force of like, okay, this is happening. We all need to wake up and pay attention because the world as we know it could significantly change without them. Bee Public is a socially responsible coffee shop and cafe. We have a heavy focus on sustainability and preservation of bee populations and our environment. So one of the ways that we can contribute and help solve this issue that we do here at Bee Public is we source organic ingredients. And what that does is bees in, in the fields, when they pollinate, they're exposed to things like pesticides, herbicides, fungi fungicides, neonicotinoids, all these things that are heavily toxic to not only bees, but the environment that they're in. Because we use organic ingredients and organic matter, what a lot of people don't recognize is more often than not, organic materials, let's say banana peels, apples, carrots, so on, eggshells, things of that nature, are often combined with regular disposable trash, which ends up in a landfill. A lot of people don't realize is that when you put organic matter like that into a landfill, it actually releases methane, which is about 20 times more potent, if you will, and detrimental to the environment than things like that of carbon dioxide. In the last seven months or so that we've been able to compost, not only have we been able to divert not only 2,000 pounds of organic matter ourselves from landfills, but I've also started a project, a community project, where I've gotten local businesses to sign on to this project of composting. So they get a bucket every week and they collect their compost and organic matter. I collect it and hopefully that will engage more and more people and businesses in the area to do exactly what we're doing here. Inside we put all food matter, anything that is or organic or uh, of food waste and divert it from the landfill. I would want people to know that it's not as hard as you think. A lot of people get scared when they hear organic. A lot of people get scared when they hear uh, environmental conversations. It's, it becomes harder in people's minds because it becomes an inconvenience. So hopefully if a concept like ours is able to grow and, and thrive, especially given the circumstances of opening in the middle of the pandemic, if we can showcase ourselves as a proven concept that can help educate people and keep people aware and engaged, then hopefully more more companies, more businesses, and more people at home can make better and wiser decisions that obviously contribute to the betterment of the entire world.